it is raining, the bike is soaking wet, I am soaking wet, so I thought I would do a quick um, install on this bad boy, which is a um, number plate relocate. Um, I'm just going to do it step by step, and um, unfortunately I've only got my helmet cam with me at the moment, so um, I'm just going to uh, do it with the helmet cam. So apologies for heavy breathing and rubbish camera angles and stuff. But uh, yeah, it comes from France, and uh, it was, I think it was a hundred euros, uh, which works out about eighty quid, and uh, it'll look pretty sweet. So uh, let's uh, let's get to it. So in the box you get the um, the plate mount and all the bracket stuff and lights and everything for it. Um, I've looked online at the instructions and they look pretty straightforward. I think you get one. Yeah, here you go. So this is it here. Um, don't know if you can see any of that, um, but it basically goes in along here somewhere. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes, eh? So. Uh, to take this off, you need an Allen key and a T25 Torx wrench, or oh, Torx thing, whatever. Uh, the Allen keys are for here, and the Torx is for there. And then there's a clip, you'll see it, you've got to unclip that and push this at the same time. It's very uh, fiddly. Um, cut the light bulb. You don't need it anymore anyway, so cut that, get that free, and then it'll just pull off, okay? I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but the wire goes on this side and threads through. So you need to take the seat off. And this little puppy here, which goes in through here, you pull, pull out all the way. And now I'm just going to relocate it. I'll probably zip tie it to these cables. And then... Well, we'll see what happens, but it's got to go down there somewhere anyway, like that probably. So, um, yeah, now the fun starts. So there it is. It's on. That was really, really easy. Um, the instructions are here, but um, basically the shorter Allen key goes in there with the, the sort of rubber grommet. Uh, you need both of the spacers and the washers. Uh, make sure this is quite tight before you do it up, but not so tight that you can't move it. Um, it feeds in through there. Undo this one with a T40 and um, a bit of Loctite. Do it back up and then it's all adjustable. I've got my face in pretty much as far up as it can go. So now it's just uh, wiring the light which should be fairly straightforward, a bit of soldering um, and just a bit of guesswork because both of these wires happen to be black and there's no um, stripe or anything like that on them, they are just black wires so a bit of guesswork um, but once it's on and working I'll solder it up properly and then uh, fit it, it comes with a bit of shrink um, and fit it with a uh, some something that I haven't got which is oh no there they are my bad and then just screw it on there like that and then we'll get the plate on so um yeah see you in a sec okay guys so zip ties all down through nice little bit of soldering work down here and uh just to check I mean you, ch you need to check and check and check and check because once it's soldered it's a pain in the ass but there you go it works um I recommend you solder it and use some flux. Um, it'll just be a lot easier and clean um, contact and all that sort of stuff. Uh, use the whole sh uh, shrink, heat shrink tubing. Just why not? And um, yeah, now it's just a matter of putting the uh, number plate on. And there you go, guys. There she is in all her glory. The bike looks much cleaner now. Excuse all the crap that's in my uh, shed. Um, but yeah, there you go, and um, I hope you go and get one yourself, because I think it looks a bit better than the one that's uh, done by Harley that attaches onto there, and it was super easy, guys. Uh, the hardest bit was actually taking the uh, the original one off, 
um, but there you go guys um, hope this has been interesting I'll leave a link to all the stuff in the description below and um, I'll catch you next time Street Bubba Vlogger Woo! <laughs>